So is it mostly a matter of economic class, no? it, yung determining uh, trajectories for Filipino students now? Or is learning poverty correlated with income class? So I think I'll unpack that statement a bit. No? So one, I'll clarify that in terms of the PISA data that we found in 2018, even our top 25% of learners are not doing very well. Our top 25% or arguably the best Filipino learners are just equivalent to the best learners maybe in Indonesia and Cambodia, but equivalent to the worst learners in Singapore. So when we say that it is determined by socioeconomic class, yes, there is truth to that, but the data shows that they do not escape learning poverty because it affects everyone. And there's reason for that, no? Because the basic education system, at least for most private schools, rely on the inflow coming from public education. And also most of their teachers are graduates of teacher education in our schools. And most of those are public institutions, public higher education institutions.